from Seoul, Korea, and welcome to the GSL Team League. Today, we have a very important match in the tournament. We have MVP up against NS Hoseo. I'm Jesus with me as Artosis. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing greatly because this is going to be an amazing match. I cannot believe how the Team League has been going so far. Upsets left and right, Tasteless. Yeah, it's actually been pretty wild. Uh, MVP is going to be coming out now. I don't think anybody expected MVP to get this far for NS Hoseo to do so well in the group stage. Yeah, I mean, the teams they've been knocking out, man, we've seen TSL and IM knocked out recently. We have Prime in the finals, what? And then we're going to have one of these teams in the finals, what, what? It's totally, uh, what, what, what? It's totally an obscure situation, I have to admit. Uh, I expected a team like TSL or IM to be here, yeah. um, you know, deeper in the tournament. They're already out. Now we have MVP. MVP uh, with Tails saving the day. Mm -hmm. Showing Sonic and Knuckles that they're not so hot after all. In fact, he's the one in Grandmasters League. That is true, Tasis. That is very, very true indeed. There's Tails' signature right there. Probably worth so much money right now. Tails, of course, defeating MVP, not the team, but the player, uh, as well as Nesty. Don Gray to Goo basically cleaning up the rest today. How will they do against this next team that's going to come out in a minute? We will see, but let's take a look at this team and their stats. As you can see, the ace players, Don Grey Goo, Tails, and Genius. They just added Tails since the last week. I know, I was going to say, he wasn't there before. And they're like, well, I guess Tails is one of our best players. As you can see, uh, initially, early on in the tournament, it was pretty close wins. Yeah. You know, close win against uh, Slayers, a close win against uh, the merge of OGS and Team Liquid. Very close win, uh, or loss rather, against FB United, excuse me. Then they started to really kick ass. And then they got their asses kicked right after. Yeah. So it's been a, it's been a rocky road, tasteless, but you know what they say about rocky road? It's one of the best ice creams. Wow. You just went there. The lineup is Keen, Guinea Pig, Noble Ass, Genius, Dongregu, Tails, Dream, and Monster. Pretty balanced race distribution here. Taste is quick. Make a sentence using all of those words. Tails had a dream that he was a genius monster. Uh, the noblest guinea pig has no tails, uh, <laughs> but he is a genius who's very keen of Don Grey Goo. Wow. Yours is actually much better than mine. Toast is well played. <laughs> oh, I didn't get monster. Whatever. I could have done it if it hadn't gone away on the floor. I know. He's being tough on us today. Well, let's take a look at the NS Hoso team, a team that has risen out of obscurity into being one of the strongest forces in the GSL. Yes. Initially, I would have thought this would be about like a tier three team. They don't really have much uh, presence in the individual leagues. We hadn't really heard much about them before they came here yeah. to the GSTL. In fact, uh, one of their main players from before, Son, has actually left the team. And uh, now we're just kind of waiting around to see what Sage is going to do, man. But they have some other sickos on there, too. You know, they have Jock G, they have Skull. Son went to the military, right? Nope. He's actually looking to join the corner team. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, you know, we also have just a lot of amazing players on Hoso that haven't been, uh, you know, up in the leagues yet. But Sage is climbing his way up the leagues very quickly because he is... Biggest brain in Protoss. He is. He's basically Mother Brain. Mother Brain. Yep. I killed her with freeze. He's a Mother Brain, and the other Protosses are just Metroids. All right. <laughs> as you can see, there are two ace players. These guys are actually scary as hell. Sage, um, just one of the most smart Protosses I've ever seen. He's just so intelligent. He the way is, he handles the game is brilliant. And the only players that really understand StarCraft 2 like him right now, in my opinion, are like Nest T and MVP. Yeah. These three understand the game on a different level than anyone else from the race. And Seal is, uh, I don't know if he's curly, but I know last time he cast him at T-League, he was ranked number one on the Korean ladder as Zerg. Yeah, that's Zerg That's actually, on the like, what? Well, here we have another set of names here. Are we ready to try to make a sentence? All right, let me go first. All right. Do it. Uh, Tassadar was in a, sh a fake shuttle that was fairly, uh, actually this is impossible. It was fairly... All right, ready? Well, Jock G and Skull, I don't even know how to do that. Go. Tassadar was in a fake shuttle. He was trying to real maker the shuttle, but that is in proper <laughs> English. Fairly so enough, to, Von So he had to Von Von the sage. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so stupid. 
Ah. Here is the MVP team coach. And now a shot of the NSOCO coach. This is a big deal for these two guys in their careers right now. Um, we are kind of at a moment here where one of these two guys is going to be in the finals. And as a coach right now in Circa F2, in the most competitive team league in the world, that's pretty damn scary. Well, we see that Prime uh, beat. Well, I guess they aren't really showing. This was the first day uh, Prime took out Sartail. And the blacked out names are the teams that are dead. Yeah. So Prime on Prime the is in the finals, basically. It'll either be NS Hosio against Prime or MVP against Prime. Yep. Prime, of course, saved by the wonderful creator, Prime. If you haven't seen those games yet, check them out if you're a Protoss creator. Showing that great macro style. We've seen hints from him before in the team Being a total ass kicker. And uh, Dongregu. He's wiggling. Sicko. He is, getting wiggly. He's like, I'm actually so good at StarCraft. It looks like, is that Sage at the upper left? It's actually the bottom left next to the coach. So, this team right now, and Socio is kind of a, a wild card team because you don't really, the players you're not generally familiar with, so it's kind of a weird situation where like, I actually yeah. don't know who they're gonna send out and how good they're gonna be at times, but so far they've never failed to impress me. Well, their roster does have three Protosses on it, one of which is Sage, so you gotta think to yourself, okay, Sage probably told these guys exactly what to do today. If those Protosses are used, I'm sure at least one will be. Because, in fact, he's starting for them. <laughs> Tessa are starting for them. But uh, they are going to come out with some good builds, most likely. Because uh, Sage is actually that smart. I would say we generally identify NS Hosio by their Protoss players. Definitely. Uh, and Seal. The Seal is very good. Uh, but, but you can't take much away from Jack Chi and Sculpt. They're no, you very can't. strong Terrans. They are I, capable I think of killing they're anyone. They're solid. I just... I just identify more with the Protoss. Oh, I definitely. Sage. It's you know, a Protoss team. It was man. a little bit more uh, Protoss-y when they Son had Son and, as well. Son and Von Vonth really started to bring their name up. Then they kind of both fell off, and now it's all about Sage, man. It's all about Sage. I can't wait to see Sage use today. Oh, I, I really... Can't. Well, you're going to have to wait a well, long I've, time. He's I not going to, to I last. I need to copy his build so badly. Uh, <laughs> I've watched... Sage's code AVODs like four times each right now. He's like, so good. I just like study every move this man makes. You guys may not know this, but we're both Protoss players in the ladder, so actually we need to copy whatever he's doing. <laughs> so we keep taking ladder points. Um, how are you doing today, Artosis? I am doing really well, actually. Thank you for I'm asking. I'm actually a little bit headachey today. I think I might be getting a migraine. I hope I don't get a migraine in this cast. You know what you don't want to do when you have a migraine is yell. Do a microphone. I may have to have somebody grab me some ibuprofen, but I am excited to be casting this game today. Well, the Team League playoffs have been nothing short of spectacular Look, so I far. love the Team League. I love casting it. I love the drama, uh, the comebacks you've seen, even the one-sided domination. It's so exciting. Yeah, it's all really good, man. Um, we're going to be starting out today with a Protoss versus Protoss. We're going to have Tassadar going up against Tails. Starting off Tails this time instead of <clears throat> finishing up yeah, with them. You know what? Why not? Just put Tails out there. What if Tails knocks off a ton of uh, their starter players, and then they have to bust out somebody like, uh, you know, let's say Sage. Let's just say that. Let's just say Tails kills three players or something, and Sage has to come out. Well, then you snipe him, right? Yeah. Then you're like, all right, how is he playing? All right, you go in there, macro your ass off, uh, make it a long game. If you win, good. If not, no problem, because he's going to be worn out by that game. Then send in the next guy. I think, though, it's at least what they're doing with Tails. Yeah, it might be. Uh, you know, I kind of like Tastar going up against him. I think that's a, a a good roll of the dice for NS Hoso sure. because Tastar, when he hit the Code A finals against uh, Puzzle, actually did a really good job. I mean, Puzzle ended up cleaning the floor with him, but Puzzle's like one of the best Protoss in the world. Tastar, yeah. last I saw it, his PvP was very good. So we'll have to see if he still has that skill, especially on the new patch. It's a completely different world out there for PvP. Uh, and the map will be Antigua Shipyard, so it's a pretty fun map for PvP. It really makes for a lot of macro games, believe it or not. <laughs> no, it really does. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little bit curious to see how PvP is going to be played with these two guys right now. Uh, you know, the patch was released just recently. Uh, did change a little bit of the Blink Stalker timings uh, and stuff like that, but it should be a pretty interesting game. And I, I do 100% agree with you, Artos, as you're so smart with, with Tastar coming out first. He's solid enough. He's still a Protoss, so if they have to waste one Protoss sniper to get rid of him, let's say he starts to dominate, 
Well, then they still have their other Protosses they can use. Mm-hmm. Well, here's Tails. He's is. got... What is the maximum rings? Is it 99 or is it 100? Uh, that is a question. That's I don't a, know. That's actually At a 100, you'd probably get like a one-up or something. I don't remember. Sonic 2 was actually, I think, the best Sonic. I never, like, really overplayed any of the Sonics. I only played Sonic 1 a lot, and I overplayed that. And Sonic 1 actually was really good, though. It was. It was Sonic 1 really was actually game. really... You know what was neat about it was that you only used the D-pad in one button. Yeah. And the whole game could be played, and it was a lot of fun. Even though Nintendo was like, guess what? I mean, Sega was like, guess what, Nintendo? Three buttons instead of two. Like, and then they counter with Super Nintendo, which has four buttons. I know, and then eventually PlayStation comes out, and they're like, buttons on the sides. Then Nintendo's like, I'm going to make a Nintendo and 64, then, and the controller's going to look like a Fisher-Price toy. And then Xbox comes out with their controller, and you have to have shark fins to actually use it because it's so big. <laughs> the shark fin controller. Yeah, faces. when Xbox came out, I felt like I was actually playing on a game here. I felt like I was trying to hold... Like palm two basketballs while playing a video game. I'm like, my like, hands just actually aren't big enough for this controller. I don't. So know my arms are actually tired of like holding it. Like my biceps are flexing as I yeah. try to play Halo. And I'm I like, lay it on the table like a keyboard. Games better on a computer, anyways. So yeah. I'm like, I don't get this. Yeah. Sonic. Uh, it's your Sonic Two is good. Sonic Three. I'm trying to think which Sonic was disappointed. I think actually might have been Sonic Three. I was disappointed. Sonic, well, and Sonic for the Wii is actually disappointing. Well, the new I Sonic the story games about are that actually already. just like, it's like 3D and it's like a not interesting world, not interesting characters. Dude, I actually just want side-scroller Sonics. Like, that's yeah, actually I, just, fun. I actually, some games are meant to be played um, yeah. as platform games. It's like, it's okay. It's like some of these games go through like Nintendo 64 syndrome where it's like every oh, game God. is going to be 3D. I'm like, it doesn't have to be 3D. Although I did enjoy the Mario game that they released 3D. For that. that was a nice no, change, no. but I'm glad they went back for Wii. Yeah, yeah, no, no. The Mario games, they, they've actually, that is a lumbering giant that has lived through the ages. Mario Sonic is actually like that, uh, your favorite rock band, but now he's like addicted to heroin and he's play, when he plays it shows, he's drunk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Head-to-head, Tails, after quitting the Sonic franchise, up against Tassadar, who's uh, no longer in StarCraft 1 now. He's a StarCraft 2 pro gamer. Let's get ready. This is the GSL Team League with MVP up against NSO. Let's do it. All right, let's learn some build orders here. In the bottom left, starting location, we have MVP Tainter. And in the opposite starting location, he died in StarCraft 1. We live in StarCraft 2. You know, the NS Hoso. Uh, team is sponsored by Hoso Academy, and they actually live at the academy. They live in a school, like an academy. Oh, really? Yeah, and you can show, man. It shows. You can tell Sage studies all day long his Protoss. But has Tassadar been studying? Because he did fall out of Code A this season. Or August. No, no. Just August. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I forget what month it is from time to time, Tasis. Time has no meaning to me. All that matters is, is there GSL today, or is there only playing StarCraft today? Or is it the day that you and I spend being hungover? <laughs> Sorry for ourselves in our bed. Or is it that day? All right. Like that uh, second pylon placement there behind the smoke screen. If I was to control this platform, I would have dug underneath the platform and turned off the smoke. I would have said, okay, what is causing that fire? Uh, well, this can't be good for us. You know what? It's bad for our eyes that's, and our lungs. That's the changing pylon. Probes can go behind there to try on different clothes and change. <laughs> and no one's going to see them. That's the dressing room is the place behind the smoke yeah. screen. That's it. <laughs> why do you that's think, actually where the Protoss toilet is. is like why do you think there? when someone proxy pylons, he always puts it behind the smoke? Right? Because he's warping in zealots, and I tell you what, man, they don't warp in with clothes on. No. When they're all shimmery and stuff, if you look real close, man, that is a naked zealot right there. But unfortunately, the naked zealot is like a naked Barbie, you know? It's like... It's It's totally sexy. It's like totally sexy. It's totally like not a a complete human being. (laughs) (laughs) It is totally asexual. All right. 
So we do have both players going double gas. Tails is going for the two gate, uh, three stalker rush to control the map with. We, meanwhile, we only have the one gate for Tassadar. I prefer the two gate by far. But uh, we'll have to see what Tassadar has planned with this two gate build. I mean, with this one gate build. You know that uh, the MVP team has to be, excuse me, I mean, the NS Socio team has to be saying to them themselves, well, how good is Tails really? You well, know what I mean? Like, let's, let's be honest here. Uh, his game against MVP was great. He played phenomenally. Uh, against NST, he actually got extremely, extremely lucky. He was supposed to be dead. It was actually just a lucky move. Congrats to him for it, but it was luck. Well, um, I mean, it was ultimately the fact that um, NST didn't NST had stop. everything in place to yeah, stop everything. All he had to do was actually just stop those DTs. And once he lost he his saw them player, it's like, units well, next to them, but he didn't react. Yeah, he did not. It's his fault more than uh, Tails' of course, but brilliant play. But uh, that that means that don't worry, this is not actually a GSL champion level guy, perhaps. You know. Well, we do have a Stargate going up, of course, for uh, Tails. Meanwhile, we have four three gate Robo play rather for Tassadar. I am so bad with Phoenix build PvP. Oh, are you? I, oh, I don't mess with them. Well, Tassadar is actually going Twilight Council as well, so we will be seeing Blink plus Observer the. Something that got really popular before the patch still is probably, actually really good. Probably the best PvP build, I think. I think so. Uh, I think it's like actual meta PvP. That he's not making a second Phoenix. Yeah, this is a bit Can off. Can you explain this to me? Because no, I, look, I, think, I actually don't do Phoenix builds. I think what we matchup, see here like, is he just different. wanted to get that Robo up immediately. Um, but he's going to have a pretty decent end of the build order. You know, Phoenix openings against the build that we see from Tassadar aren't terrible. It's going to give him, you know, Blink takes so long, it's going to give him some time that he has some pretty good control over the situation. And we're likely going to see a lot of Immortals pump out of this Robo. What you do is you go Immortal and Phoenix. Uh, they go Blink Stalker against the Phoenixes. Then you have all these Immortals which eat through their Stalkers like like Tasteless eats through a Dunkin' Donut. Oh, man. Let me tell you something about Donuts. They are so amazing. <laughs> See, and you know, here's the funny thing. They're actually missing the center. It's like, how can you actually take something away? Because I would like to well, something Here's the genius hole. behind it. They cut the center out and call it a munchkin. But they call it a donut hole. Well, they call, munchkin they're called munchkins. Actually, I like a little kid. They call them munchkins? Yeah, they do. They're, it's called donut holes other places. Uh oh. Anyways, we do have this nice harassment coming in here. Going to start lifting some probes. So he's going to have to get out. Does not want to lose any of these. Now. The beauty of this is Phoenixes take forever to kill for a Stalker. They're light, so the Stalkers don't get their bonus damage. And really, Protoss doesn't have any great ground-to-air anti-air. Yeah, that's actually a fundamental rule for Protoss, is their weak ground anti-air. Mm -hmm. Now, this attack that we're going to be seeing from uh, from Tails is going to be just so powerful, Tasteless. I'm actually really fearful for Tassadar right now. I'm, I'm looking at what he has and what he's making, and I'm like, well, you're going to die. That's too bad. I'm sorry. Really interesting build here uh, from both of these guys. Yeah, they're quite nice. Uh, but we do have, in fact, uh, Tails is going to make a Nexus. So he's not going to all in with this, which is something that you actually will see from time to time. Uh, an Immortal Phoenix all in against an expanding Blink Protoss. And actually, that's what I would have liked to see. That's, uh, you know, I feel that's a much stronger choice if your opponent's actually... He's got all these units which are countered by what you have. You have like three, four Phoenix, several Immortals, and a bunch of Zealots. You're actually going to crush through what Tassadar has. Like crush, crush, crush through. But And he has full scouting because he has the Phoenix. Yet he decides to just make a Nexus himself. I feel like Tails has definitely made a mistake here with that choice. But looks It'll like he is going to attack now. So that's actually okay then. Oh, he's, no, he's, no, he's turned around. around. Ah, uh, what are you going to do? I don't know. Oh, he's going to go for DTs. And that's actually really cool. Because, uh, yeah, you have some observers out, but Observer Phoenix is going to just rail on observers so quickly. That's actually... Yeah, this is something people have been doing. A, there's a whatever. hilarious late game unit composition that you can do. Speed observers, phoenixes, and DTs. And it's actually frighteningly strong because it kills observers so quickly. we got more gateways coming up here. And as that Nexus is complete, he'll be able to support those with ease. <clears throat> What you guys are seeing here, because we don't actually have very many PvPs like this, this is actually deep, complex meta PvP. I guarantee you, everybody in the USA server is like, what are these Koreans doing? Well, this is actually what the good players are doing on the Korean server. 
And it's better than what you guys are doing on your server, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> it's true. I play on both. Well, um, we do have a bunch of sentries from Tassadar over oh that Oh my god, he's going to warp in DTs in the back. And then he's going to uh, snipe observers. come into the front. Now, uh, good, a good thing for uh, Tassadar is the force fields can actually stop anything from coming up his ramp. So he can actually stop this army a little bit dead in his tracks at this point. Uh -oh. So he's got good positioning, and that DT is going to be so powerful. Uh -oh. oh my god, and he's going okay. back into his base. It's worked, it's worked. Now you can just force field the. Oh man. Yeah, all he has to do now is force field that ramp. This unit composition is pretty strong from Tails. Good force fields, though. Oh, oh. I, I can't believe they actually ran out of energy. Or did they run out of energy? He could have actually blocked that in there. Yeah, that's a little bit messy, but uh, here we go. Going at it again. And those DTs are going to be worth their weight in gold, I think, Tasteless. Right. Look at this. You might want to try. No, I guess not. I was going to say you might want to try picking something up with the Phoenix. Is. There's no observer over this. And yeah, there is not any observer. I think, he is I think making actually one. Tassadar might have too many units. Yeah, Tassadar has quite a few units here indeed. But those DTs are really being worthwhile. An observer does pop out. And it looks like Tails' army. Oh, he's going to try to just snipe the Nexus. I don't. I think it's will he should get the Nexus here, but I think that Tassadar went through the counterattack. Oh! Yeah, the counterattack uh, should be golden here. Yeah, both teams actually reacting wildly right now. Um, he should actually go in there with the Phoenixes into the main and start the ropes, or at least do something to pressure to turn around. Uh-oh. Well. Um, oh, nice. One more DT in here. Oh, very nice. That might be what it takes. That's going to at least slow him down. And the server does pop out, though. Now, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sad because Tails had a cool timing there where he could get up uh, did, against he, those force fields and then never, even force uh, fields his opponent. The ramp. Yeah, he never force fielded that ramp. I don't yeah, know why. You can blink over it, but you're going to blink down into Zealots and Immortals. And be so here's the question. Can Tails hang on? He's probably going to need to bring his probes here. I don't think there's any possibility of him actually holding on here. Well, if he gets all these cannons up, he's... Well, well actually, never mind. The he cannons aren't going to be very main. useful. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Ah, oh, well... Looks like Tassar should be able to take this game down. And a mortal coming in, so he will have to probably run away as these zealots come up and start railing on all his stalkers. Nice job here with the immortal. He does blink out. He really needs to get an observer in stalkers and just kill off that uh, the opposing observer. All right, looks like the entrance is fine now with those cannons. Ugh. This is why blink stalkers so good in the mid game. Uh, for PvP. I almost feel like we called the mid game actually the late game because PvP is the shortest matchup, but well, it's certainly becoming longer lately. We see really nice soccer harassment right now. I'm just going to pick off so much here. You know, once there's a good number of blink stalkers, uh, zealots are going to be a lot less useful if they do not have charge. Really not doing that. Tassadar played really well this game. Yeah, he did. Nice. Look at that. Okay, one DT coming in here. Is he prepared? Uh, yeah, he is actually. He has observer. It's not as exciting as it was supposed to be after all. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is basically it. Uh, we are going to see Tails have to GG here momentarily. Yep. Way yeah, too so, many so with a here. very strong start. I think if he was going to do that timing attack, he should not have been in Nexus right before he attacked. You don't make a Nexus you know. and then attack. And the thing is, it wasn't make Nexus, then attack. It was make Nexus, sit there for a minute, and then attack. And that makes even less sense than make Nexus, then attack. Yeah. Um, attack and then make Nexus, that's a great move. You you like to cover things like that. But uh, if you're actually watching someone, because you have full scouting, go for a Nexus plus Blink Stalkers. You're flying around, you see it all. And uh, you have Phoenix... The mortal zealot. You can just kind of walk up into their natural. He waited until his opponent got to warp in some more sentries, got into a great position that you could use force fields very well. But if he had gone up there, like immediately with this, seeing that the build was completely countered by what he was doing, I feel like Tails would have taken that game. He would have put a nice little contain on for a moment, uh, you know, hold the ramp, make a Nexus cancel at the minimum. At the minimum. I mean, what is he going to be afraid of at this point? Uh, the Stalkers could blink out and go harass him some, but at home, he's still making some Immortals and whatnot. Uh, I, I don't like how Tails played that out. I like the I, strategy. I think it's a cool strategy. It's a good strategy. The concept I don't was like good. How he did the it. execution was terrible. 
and even there was even a moment where he could have force fielded the ramp. I just want to keep going back to that because even though his timing wasn't like that good, why didn't he force field that ramp? Uh, it cut off some of those. Now units. He's probably thinking, oh well, there's blink, but I mean, if it's just stalkers against you, you're going to be happier. I don't know. I, I, I just it screws up the ability to micro in general. I feel like Tails slightly dropped the ball, and Tassadar was pretty much on top of it the whole time. So yeah, tasteless. And your MVP, who do you bring out against Tassadar? I actually have no idea. I have no idea. It's actually really hard when you think about it. I mean, do you bring out Dong Gregu? So, so. No, no, you save him for Sage. Um, I would say bring a Terran out right now. Bring a Terran. Do it. Who's it going to be? Who's that? Who's that? I don't know who that is. That's Keen. Yeah, Terran, there you go. Kind of starts to laugh. He's like, You <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, well, right, well. So that makes sense, actually, Keen. Their most handsome player. You think so? I think so. I don't know. I equate looks with skill. So for me, Don Grey Goo is like a, a supermodel. Not as handsome as Nest Year MVP, but pretty far up there. I think Keen is a really good choice here. And uh, this should be a pretty interesting game here. Um, I do think Keen can take out somebody like Tassadar. Yeah, I think, I think this is actually a good match, good. to be honest. I think Keen's a little bit better than Tassadar overall. Yeah, but he's he's making it on Zelnaga Fortress, which is going to help him out a lot as well. Mm. Uh, definitely could go either way. I think it's going to be a good match, but I'm giving the edge to Keen here. No doubt about that. Yeah, Keen is just an overall good Our pick. Artos's edge has been given to Keen. It's like a sword. It's like a mythical sword. It gives you plus... Plus five to win a match. It's like your Excalibur nerd sword. That's it, man. You're more likely to beat your opponent if you have Artosis's it's like edge. Like the Mass Immune Chrono Trigger. You never played Chrono Trigger, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. That's too didn't. bad. Actually, you would like that game. I know I would. Uh, a lot of my friends played it back when it was new. And it was good. I almost played it, but I was playing some other games at the time, and then I just was too into StarCraft eventually. So. Yeah, StarCraft did that for me, too. I was playing all these games, and eventually I'm like, wait a minute. StarCraft's actually the best game in the world. Yeah, yeah. For a little bit, I was playing StarCraft in other games, and then I was just like, wait a minute. Instead of playing other games, I can just play more StarCraft. It was the greatest. All right, we're going to do life. the interview now. Uh, with the MVP, Chae Hoon Sang, 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 MVP, 예 기분 좋게 지냈는데 아 NS 오서전이 걱정돼서 네네. 아 그렇게 편하게 지내지는 못했고요 예 준비하느라 좀 신경 좀 네, 1세트 좋습니다. 아깝게 좀 지긴 했지만 그래도 yeah. 많이 나왔어요. Yeah, over the past week he was really busy preparing for this match. 네, 네. 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 He lets the players actually choose their own games. 생각지도 못했는데 결승까지 진출해서 좀예 그랬는데 이번에는 준비도 한 만큼 예 다시 한번 결승에 올라가 보고 싶습니다. 아, 네. 멋진 경기 기대하겠고요. 마지막으로 yeah. 기너스티비전1위입니다 NSO 서점의 박영수 감독에게 really 말씀해 주시죠. 어, so 사실 NSO 서점은 uh, 처음이라 사실 준비하기도 굉장히 힘들었고요. 네, 네. 어, 그런데 지금 뭐 분위기를 보면 일단 주피터 리그가 비너스 리그보다 잘 올라가는 추세잖아요. 네, 한팀 남았습니다. 비너스 리그 네. 네. 저희도 따라서 올라가겠습니다. 네, 알겠습니다. 네. 멋진 경기 기대하겠습니다. 네, 고맙습니다. 감사합니다. 네. The team will try their hardest to get the finals this time. 만나봤습니다. 이제 NSO서 더그아웃으로 자리를 이동해 보도록 하겠습니다. Global StarCraft Team League Artosis. That's where we are. Where's what we need Wolf in here? Don't worry, he heard you somewhere in Seoul and he just howled back. Right now we will go to the NSO show coach. Penalty race came and it was a long time. How did you do it? Ah, yes. I played a game of league and I played a game of WCC. 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 
그걸 충전적으로 연습할 수 있는 시간 좀 여유가 있었던 것 같아요. 시간이 워낙 길어서. 네. 네, 어제 펼, 펼쳐졌던 프라임과 really They had a long time of not playing because 어, 프라임이 uh, 그 won the league last time. 잡았단 말이죠. 어떻게 경기를 보셨는지 궁금합니다. 네, 정말 어, 스코어가 yep. 지금 저희가 한판 뭐 이긴 상태긴 한데 스코어가 앞서 간다고 해서 정말 방심할 수 없구나. They're going to work really hard this time around to get it to get to the finals. 어, 만큼 준비를 열심히 해서 끝까지 긴장을 늦추지 않도록 하겠습니다. 네, MVP 팀 요즘 기세가 정말 좋은데요. MVP 팀을 맞이해서 어떤 전략과 또 대비를 하셨는지. They've always been preparing really hard for the games. 네, 변수가 so 많은 팀이기 때문에 어, 어떤 특정 상대를 이제 스나이핑할 선수를 준비한다기보다도 어, 그 선수 이제 컨디션을 제일 좋게 하기 위해서 여러 종족전을 다양하게 준비를 했어요. 그래서 어, 오늘은 정말 누가 또 어떤 선수가 그 영웅이 될지 저도 참 궁금하네요. 네, 네. 저도 궁금합니다. 네. 네, 마지막으로 MVP 최영상 감독님께 한마디 해주시죠. 네, 감독님 오늘 준비했습니다. 결승에 어느 팀이 올라가든 어, 우승을 so 하도록 기원을, well 하는 for this 그런 match. 기원을 서로 해주는 그런 경기가 됐으면 좋겠고요. 어, 그 저번에 보여주신 드라마는 이제 저희가 끝내고 저희가 결승을 가서 저희가 드라마를 한번 써보겠습니다. 네. <웃음> 네, 고맙습니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 네, 과연 어떤 팀이 We've 드라마를 쓰게 될지 저는 정말 궁금해지는데요. 이 세트 어떤 팀이 really 가져갈지까지 지켜봐 주시기 바랍니다. 저는 팀 소개를 좀 하겠습니다. This time we're going to end that and get into the finals. Just imagine drinking beer out of that trophy, Artosis. Just that's imagine. right. All the glory. All the glory you're drinking beer out of that. The aluminum taste on your imagine mouth. Imagine that's all heavy and awkward, and like you start your to try to drink like it, it just like, goes all down it just like onto your shirt. It just goes over your cheeks like uh, this. Imagine that. That's what imagine I would do. Imagine how awesome that would be. Imagine the next morning you go into the, the kitchen and someone's washed out, and they're washing their hair in it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, no, my drinking trophy's ruined. Like, yeah. Grandma's got her hot water in there and her feet <laughs> are in there. Did your grandma ever do that? Uh, yeah. Why, why do grandma's Not my trophies. That? Not your trophies. Well, no, not my trophies either. I never had any trophies because I was never a winner as a kid. Oh! <laughs> but why, why do uh, grandmas do that? They get like a, a tub of hot water and they put Probably to get rid of the bunions. I know. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. All right, game number two will be on Zelnaga Fortress. Keen against Tassadar. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. I think it'll be tough for Tassadar, but he still can win. He's got to be pretty high up that last victory. All right, I'm sure Tasis. With me is Artosis. Who will get the drinking trophy? We're going to find out soon here at the GSL team. Actually, I guess we find out the finals. Actually, this is my worst outro yet. Right. Where's, my, where's my time machine? All right, it's right next to your sign.